then uh, suddenly in there, I think they made a drop. It, they have repeated after Queen C5 wow. and Knight E2. Knight E2, Queen Amazing C2. Draw. So let's move to Wesley's game against Dominguez. Is Wesley now has a chance to narrow the gap. If he defeats Dominguez, it would just be a half point difference. Right. Um, let's see how that game's going. Looks like fun. Not a certainly not a quick draw this one as Wesley's got an attack and Lanier's got an attack and who's faster is going to be the question. By the way, right. Faruja is up a piece against Nakamura in Ooh. their battle. So it's bad news for Naka as White, the youngster, is dominating there. But this game of critical importance to the standings that Wesley needs to find a way to not fall back even further. Is Wesley got a pawn here or something? No, he, it's no. equal material, but it just it looks like a nice position for white to me because right now the minor pieces of black are not participating. That said, the black's rooks are really well poised. And They're yeah, rooks superb. are pieces too. Uh, Eight. A surprise move by Lanier for me. H4, he's just going gangbusters for me. Uh, F6 how, takes G5 look really good. And how are you ever going to checkmate me with my beautiful bishop on G2? No idea. That's why we like our bishop on G2. I mean, <laughs> yeah, you're going to have to play like bishop C8, bishop H3 or something. It, it's going to be a long road. Uh, I'm really surprised about the move queen C3, by the way, guys. I thought it would be B4 and rook A3 to C3 was automatic. Putting the queen in front of the rook? No, I don't like that. Now, having said that, is this real compensation or not? Ninety-five uh, looks. Be good. careful. Be sm just a little bit careful. Although I don't disagree with your move, but I do see a trebling on the H file, followed by a check on H one, and that would produce a mate. So just just be mindful of that possibility. We can easily double. We can even put the queen, and he's doubled. You can even put the queen ahead. Uh, on mm -hmm. actually, I can't play queen h6 because of knight takes g4. The problem so, is, I can always play like um, uh, king f1, and you know, then you have like no your queen h1 idea doesn't work anymore because I'm sliding out an e2. Absolutely, absolutely. Just be mindful of what Wesley has now played knight c6 check. Knight can the c6. king just move? What is the point of putting the knight ahead of everyone? I think he's going for a repetition. Uh, no, yeah, you got to be kidding. Well, he could also. He is play, repeating. I mean, he would never do that in this tournament, and he didn't. Yes, um, Queen C five play because now Bishop takes D five could be a threat. Oh, this is looking juicy. And if you move your queen away, um, Queen A seven is going to slide in to, to pay a visit. Right now, you, queen a7 can be met by um, bishop c6, but even that not fear because there's queen takes a6, and you'd have to calculate those ramifications. So, Wesley, How do you defend a pawn? How do you defend the d-pawn itself? Well, good, certainly um, Dominguez did not because he got down to nine seconds and played queen f6, and now we can take with mm -hmm. either piece um, on d5. But I think if we take with the bishop... We might I'll have... take with the queen because yeah, take I'm with the queen, a, like a discover check. This is over. You're threatening just knight a7 check, and, and it's over. It's Wesley. over. This is definitely over. Yeah, you just Big nothing to do. Win. You know, when wow. he needs to win, he starts doing it, guys. <laughs> <laughs> a very, very strange approach to the tournament, but it's paying off. Hikaru, let's just jump to Hikaru's quickly.